you guys so my name is Astrid or AK Wonderless Goddess all right so one topic I really wanted to cover with you guys today is like the dark night of the soul and of course like spiritual awakenings right um okay so if you're wondering I kind of have to like you know be happening um i can only tell you about my experience i can only tell you about what happens to me um i know that i've watched enough like uh, of like other people's just information and, and story and i feel like it's all the same um so with that being said i do have I really want to go back right um where spiritual awakening is kind of like where you pretty much get yourself away from everybody um it is called a journey that you must take alone it's a spiritual awakening where you pretty much dissect yourself from the inside out and as like torturous as that sounds it is like and it's not in a bad way like you know that your spirit comes here um and chooses and picks whatever life lessons you need to choose right and we're always going through an awakening it's not just one journey itself like we're always going through it um with that being said so for me it's been kind of like the the trauma the trauma that i've had since i was like basically little right and hold on, let me sit down <laughs> And so that helped me to kind of like cohabitate to like who I am now. So once I started, I was just at the bottom, like uh, of like pretty much of myself, basically. Like I didn't, I was questioning myself. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing with my life, basically. I was stuck and hitting that rock bottom where everybody left me I was pretty much like I didn't like my job I didn't like myself like physically I didn't like myself like where I was at mentally emotionally I was always breaking down and I, I felt like I was always angry at the world and I just didn't know what to do with myself at one point I was I remember I was in the back of my mom's like car sitting down calling a hotline because I didn't have anywhere else to turn and I, I didn't like what they were telling me and this is kind of like a crisis hotline this was really bad and at the time I was actually going to um, therapy <laughs> I was actually seeing a psychiatrist because I felt like I was being bullied at work and I'm an adult and I had just gone through a breakup I was with a narcissist and that was that was like pretty intense you know and so you know forward uh, like a little bit after that like back to what was going on I was just like you know what I'm not gonna do this anymore like I'm not gonna do that so I started working on myself a little bit right I like switched jobs I was good for a little bit but then I was just like you know what I'm on like I'm on my I'm in my prime basically at this point um, and then I meet somebody and then this is like, this is the person that actually like slingshotted me. Like I was, after I like left this person, I was basically in a slingshot and just like catapulted onto my like awakening. Um, I was with this person, we were together for like six months. Um, I was head over heels like fast everything like happened so quickly but I started noticing like there was a lot of like bad stuff a lot of triggers that I had and this was like full on a narcissist right um, but what happened is like when I just let go I, I started to just like go I went through a phase of just like okay it's a heartbreak right a year and I know that this person would try to contact me when I was like still growing um so what I started doing is just like going more inward actually and um as much as like I I was like getting I was facing myself to the point where 
I was actually at the point of being more vulnerable and like meditating and just like, you know, scripting and stuff like that. The more to like the surface I was climbing, the more um, I started seeing myself like mirroring like the, the stuff that I didn't like about myself and the more I had to like work through that. Um, there is like a, a thing that is that you go through you can even go through like a spiritual flu i I've, I've even had the symptoms you can actually have physical symptoms but if you do feel really really bad go to the doctor immediately but for me it was just like pains like my my head hurt i was constantly crying but i still like had hope for some reason and that was like that was really weird because i i didn't know what was happening but i i just like had that leap of faith entirely to the point where I I didn't know like and for me being so analytical and me trying to control my life up until the point like maybe a year two years ago I would just I was it wasn't to the point of giving up but it was just like to the point of me just being vulnerable for myself me being vulnerable to like having faith in myself like having hope for myself like having hope for like now not like for the past not trying to change the past not trying to change the future like not trying to sculpt it but it's kind of like a lot of the things it's like this that dark night of the soul happens because of uh, if like there's a solid structure that's not ha like building up then it's going to be crumbled. And then there's like, if you guys are familiar with like tarot cards, there's this tower, right? You'll see a tower with the lightning hitting every like angle of the tower. And then you'll also see like people falling out like humans. Okay, so it's kind of like your foundation has been shook. Why? Because one, it wasn't stable enough to the foundation that it's it, like it's going to be rebuilt it's going to be more stronger more better so you want to think about like the concept of that is like rebuilding yourself back up so it's for me it wasn't like that I'm I was changing it's more or less that I was like accepting myself who I've always been who I have always wanted to be who I've always needed to be and that's like since childhood so it's weird because uh spiritual awakenings and the dark the sorry the dark the, the the dark night of the soul like they they do they do come like together they do intersect they do mesh together and that's something I want to like touch bases with you on again I know that like I'm like falling all over the place like in this video but like trust me like whatever like however you are on your journey like, you just want to know that in the now, like, you want to be in the now. This is all I can tell you. And trust me, I went, before I started my spiritual awakening, I was really suicidal because I just wanted to end my life. And nobody understood me ever. And I felt so alone in the world. Like, I felt like nobody was there for me. Do you get what I'm saying? And my thingy just broke. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be monetized. Or I kind of do, but not that really. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, so with that being said, I was just completely like falling uh, like within myself. But it's like I was actually seeing the stuff that I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to see that I didn't want to work on. And then I was like, hoping that somebody would come and save me and sweep me off my feet, whether it's like friendship, whether it's like, so like, uh, in a relationship, like I was just hoping that I was pretty much like codependent, you know, because I never wanted to work on myself. So my tower moments, my spiritual awakenings and my dark night of the soul, like, I, it's funny because it was like, since I was younger, like, since I was like, pretty much a kid, right? Like, I was already going through this stuff because I have gone through so much as, as I was that no child should endure. And because of that, like I was already telling myself like, Hey, you have to go through this, like be open. But me, because I wanted to control my life. Like I was always like, man, why is Why aren't things going my way? Why can't I control things? You know? And that's what kind of like made me feel more like mad at the world more mad at like myself you know putting myself down instead of just like you know what everything happens for a reason I know as like cliche and like cheesy as that sounds like it really does 
And so, like, with that, it's just, oh, man, this is going to be really bad, you guys. Um, with that, I, I just wanted to basically have somebody else work on my own burdens, have somebody else take my burdens. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I stopped going to therapy. I started working on myself, started working out. That really helped me like take out my aggression on all the aggressiveness that I had. I stopped talking to my family. I stopped like hanging out with the people that I did who actually like um, initiated me being bullied um, and I confronted them and they never apologized you know they continued to stay friends with the people that were bullying me um, and I relocated again <laughs> um, I actually came back to where I first started for work um, brand new people everything and everything was falling back into place I started noticing more that I can't control, I can't control anybody, I can't control situations, I can't control emotions, I can only control myself. And just by me letting go, like little by little, trust me, it took me like a year and a half to like literally let go and come to like, come to basically like love myself, love myself, put myself and prioritize myself I started like just cutting people off up to the point where I just was alone basically and I'm actually okay with me being alone um I still help people out because I know that's one of my journeys that's one of my like one of my tasks that I, I want to do here while I'm still here um help everybody whoever is in my situation that can, I can relate to and actually I can like tell them like yeah you know you know what if you thought about doing this or and that but just to let you know like as you're going through these tower moments um or like the, the dark night of the soul it's so that you can build your foundation more you can build it up even more does that make sense like if something's not going your way you know like the universe is going to shake that up and it, they're going to be like no we're going to start all over again and trust me like if you if you will if you go against the changes of life it's really gonna hurt it really is and it kind of like you have to have that moment to where like that rude awakening so you'll know to just go with the flow now i am like following taoism and that's really helped me like I think like water, right? Go with the flow and trust me, you guys, everything starts falling into place. But to get back onto the, the two topics that I wanted to cover still, the spiritual awakening, yes. So that is when you start to realize that you are the best thing that has ever happened in your life. You're you're the only one that you need to prioritize. You want to keep uh, in mind that you come first not you being the best girlfriend boyfriend you being the best uh, like sibling being the best parent whatever it may be you you're the only person that matters in your life because everything else will fall into place does that make sense and you don't stop your journey once you start it you will continue until you're not here anymore until it's time to go onto another plane and I know it's a lot of information that's all jumbled up <laughs> sorry <laughs> but I I just wanted to let you guys know about that and the dark night of the soul is basically putting mirrors right in front of you on stuff that you never worked on um on stuff that needs to be worked and you know and and facing those childhood traumas that you never had uh to endure until you were older right and yeah that's pretty much like what i've wanted to say so um that's i know it's in a nutshell but there's so much that i went through there's so so many levels that i have gone through there's so many like sleepless nights that i cried i just cried 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 when i was going through my spiritual awakening and through the dark night of the soul at the same time so like you want to put yourself like as you're climbing towards that light you're like those mirrors of what you've always like blocked off as in like what you've always had to work on they like they they surface 
so you're punching through up to the light here's the light and then here are like the the reflections of yourself that you don't work on and trust me you guys they come in hard they come in so freaking hard and they'll come out of nowhere there's no timing to tell you okay well today we're going to be working on this today we're going to be working on that no they just come out of nowhere and you have to like put set like really prioritize yourself because now that you prioritize yourself you see all of this. You accept yourself for your flaws. You accept yourself for your strengths. You know, you accept yourself who you are, mind, body, and soul. And everything just starts falling into place. So you guys, the only thing I can give you like for advice when you're going through like your spiritual awakening or dark night of the soul is to be open as, and as if, as in being open to yourself, uh, to your child to as in like to when you were little back back to when you were the, that little person that little human you know that was that dependent on other people you know it's like you want to put yourself in that situation where be the person that your child your inner child needed and oh my god this this is going to make me cry because i i am the person the grown-up that my inner child needed and I'm so happy and so blessed with that and it I'm crying because I suppressed my inner child so much and neglected my inner child so much you know and I was scared of the strength that um this little tiny human Astrid me <laughs> had you know from the get-go and um yeah and don't neglect yourself um it, it will only be a more difficult journey this is all that I can give you guys um yeah so uh, if you made it this far you yeah you guys uh that's pretty much it let me know <laughs> what your journey is down below comment down below it doesn't matter I just want to know like I'm just here to, to help guide people and spread the word that you're not alone. <laughs>